what's going on everybody it's your boy nq trader brandon back again with another video for you guys for all y'all risk managers out there to be tuning in to the live stream i uh, appreciate it and yeah this is going to be my uh trade recap for the week but actually really the whole life of these accounts these accounts aren't that old um i just started trading these and i think the end of january i want to say and uh yeah everything these are the apex accounts um the 50ks um out of all things the 50k accounts and uh yeah we're gonna here's my stats so far up in uh trade abate my performance for the life of the account um thus far so i'm at gross p l 21k um realized p l is about just over 20 it was at 28 i know or 28 or 29 i had a an 8k almost a 9k loss friday trying to be stubborn and yeah y'all saw those of y'all that tuned in friday y'all saw how i went a little tilt but it was more like a kind of a revenge trading thing because i wanted to be right and i, I freaking gave up taking profit for nine points y'all saw that the videos out there for friday stream y'all can go watch that and yeah but we're gonna talk about that um and yeah so the accounts i'm trading copy trading five apex accounts pa accounts they're funded um so 20k in each account right now if it wasn't for friday's loss i'd be sitting at almost 30k in each account um but yeah no no biggie we'll get it back um 87 percent profit um overall overall total profit 51k total loss 30k that's uh that's that's something to <laughs> think about there but yeah overall i'm up 20k on five accounts um yeah so just over just over 100k total for apex now we just got to treat this like the bank account. Um, I'm still not eligible yet to put in my payout request. Um, I will get eligibility. Uh, get that out of the way. Get eligibility. Clear all. I'll be eligible for, I got to do one more trading day because I've been trading for what, nine days, I think. Um, so one more trading day Monday. I'll probably keep it light. We'll see. It all depends on what the market gives. We'll see. Um, and then I could put in the request on the 15th. That's when they open up requests again. Um, a lot of people stop trading. Um, once they hit the, you know, this will be the 12th will be my 10th day. Um, a lot of people stop trading and, you know, move on to something else. I mean, I may try that. I don't know. But then I'm I'm losing. I think about it like this as me losing days, you know, in between. So I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see. Maybe I'll get some more evals to uh, play around with. I did get um, on the eval situation. I did get a blue sky account. Um, I did get a blue sky account. That account is I think I got their 100K account. Um, we made profit Friday. I think like eleven hundred, either just over a thousand dollars or like eleven hundred. Um, they do have a. I'm see. So I'm I also thought about making like a spreadsheet, or if somebody, anybody in the audience out there, if y'all already have a spreadsheet of these prop firms, I thought about making one, just gathering all the popular, um, all the popular firms and just going over there. Um, all their rules on the eval side and the funded side and then kind of making like a pros and cons of each one um, just to have all that information in one central location because I keep I, I've messed around with so many prop firms that I kind of like forget who does what what rules for what and all this other stuff so I think I'm gonna take if I ever get the time <laughs> I'll, I'll make that information and centralize it that way everybody can have it and I'll like share it or whatever put it on Maybe put it on Google Drive or something and share it so that information can be out there if it's not already out there, if someone hasn't already done it. But anyway, back to the, the recap. I'm up 20K in five across five Apex accounts. Um, this is all the performance. 
uh, like I said, 87%. We take it to the trade journal here. Here, here it is on Tradezilla. Um, yeah, if it wasn't for Friday, if I didn't lose it Friday, eh, I'd be sitting at about almost 30K um, for the total of these accounts. But yeah, you can see here, I started January 30th. Um, and you can see the the PL. I think Friday was my first yeah, Friday is my first loss. And that was forced. I forced that loss. That was that was like a revenge because I wanted to be right. And I gave I lost this over over nine points. I wanted a nine extra points to get out of my my in profit. And then yeah, I don't know. But I mean it happens sometimes. Let's try to make it not happen again. Let's not let it happen again. Um but yeah, you can see um was it was going to be a straight green week if i hadn't did that but yeah here's all my trades um uh, this is every i believe this is everything from yeah starting in january this is all my trades i mean i'm not going to sit here and go through each one <laughs> go through each one like that but you can clearly see um I got to cut down on the big, big losses, the major. And this was just Friday. This was just one freaking day. I was looking for the short on a, on the most bullish. And this has happened to me before, too. I got to be aware when I'm getting in that mode. When I get in that mode, it's like it's almost like you can't tell me nothing. I want to be I want my target and I want to be right. And that's it. That's it. There's nothing else. But I got to stop that. Like, that's. I gave away a lot of progress made just on this one day. So I got to chill. I got to kind of chill on that. But we're still good. I'm not tripping totally. We're still good to we live to trade another day, another week. <laughs> so we're about to get that. Now, this is um, Apex. So after I took that L, that big L, right? Um, and you can see here if you want to you want to take it to the um, the charts really quick. This was the first big loss. You know, and you know I went full port on it too. That's the that's the bad thing. You know I went full port. This market was going nothing but up. Nothing but up. I shorted right here, went up. If I'd have held it eventually, I would have got a little bit of profit, but I wasn't about to sit there and hold through that. It was just <laughs> I mean, yeah, 10 contracts right here, shorting right here down at 979 literally the literal bottom the literal bottom that's where i got in and because i guess this faked me out right here thinking we had some some momentum but i should have looked left and saw the support but you know how it goes it happens so i end up closing out right here at the top <laughs> the funny thing is i could have re-entered short here either here got out or or held through that and i mean it's only a few points it ain't no sense in holding through all that but i could have played it you know down up down up down up and like that but anyway it happens took that first l and then i think i took the second one uh, where's the second one at Took the second L. Let me see. Yeah, right here on this one. Uh, got short again here. It was actually up like 3K, which is crazy. And I didn't take that. That's because, like I said, I was in that mode, I was in that zone. Like, you couldn't tell me anything. You just couldn't tell me. I wanted nine. I got short uh, here. 984. So, yeah, that's the one y'all saw. I was short. It bounced back. Then it dropped again. Bounced back up. Playing around my break even, like, all day. I literally shorted, like, a support resistance area. And um, it finally broke out a little bit. I was up, like, 3400 Thirty-three, thirty-four hundred dollars. I didn't take it. Comes all the way back and just, you know, obviously, just rips up. And I'm like, all right, I give up. I give up. Bulls, y'all got it. 
y'all got it i give up i wanted to go i wanted price to get down to like right here to 50 60 or 58 59 60 in somewhere in this area they didn't give it to me and i paid the price for being stubborn but so that's that that's the apex accounts that's what happened friday um full on transparent i secured the bag early on in the day i think i made like what 2k and then i just gave all that that crap back <laughs> being stubborn um self-sabotage being stubborn but now if we take it to the take profit accounts i did switch over i switched over to take profit my funded accounts and i was like you know what i said fine fine bears if y'all don't want to come through forget it you know it was day one i traded i said i wasn't gonna trade it so i kind of broke a rule it was kind of a little bit of a revenge type of thing still but i wasn't at this point i wasn't tilt <laughs> i wasn't my mind was focused on the longs on the long side all the way focused i said fine all right y'all gonna be silly these bulls gonna be silly i mean i'm fighting the trend i don't know why i'm fighting the trend because this has happened so many times before in the past it's played out so many times before i'm like why am i fighting this i just that's that that counter trend trader trying to come out why am i fighting this but here's the take profit uh actually let me let me show you the take profit account standby one second get that loaded up but yeah i Day, it was day one on the take profit. Walked away with uh, 5K. Um, I posted the screenshots in the community on YouTube. Posted it in the Discord if you haven't uh, joined already. Um, yeah, I'll be going over some levels to look at uh, probably tomorrow. Um, and I'll be posting them in the Discord of my levels on my chart that i'm looking at key areas you know looking at some zones since we got some a little bit of history now we're still in uncharted territory since the market is so so high up but i'll, I'll be going over that posting my chart so here's uh yeah this is the take profit pro account um and when i took the trade I was using, I was going off the 2K tick chart, right? Um, I kind of, if you saw the screenshot, see Trade of 8 erases, like I think they erased the entries and stuff, so I don't have that data there. That's why I took the screenshot. And if you see the screenshot, I kind of started a position here and then kind of just um, scaled in the position of longs on this because I'm like, they're not taking this down. The bulls got it today. They're, I don't care if we're at 18, 30, whatever. And I, the crazy thing is I saw um, support and supply build up on Bookmap in, in like real time. I saw it. I saw the support down here. I was like, okay. I saw all the orders. I saw the support, the build up. I'm like, okay. We Then we start to form this. This was like, this was really slow. It was painful to be in. I think I was in this trade for like 40 minutes or so. 40 45 minutes and then we had this flash down here to hit those orders we got bought right back up that's when i was kind of confident like all right yeah we got this again flash down same spot bought right back up um then we started pumping pumping i think i got out around here yeah 56 55 56 you can go back and look at the youtube screenshot that I posted in the community. I wish I would have held. I didn't know. I thought this was going to be it in the 50s, maybe 60. But we ran up exponentially more. And I could have, you know, that could have been like 20, 25, 30 extra points or whatever. But I got out. I was like, all right, I'm cool. 5K, I'll take it in one go <laughs> on the first day of these funded accounts. I'm like, I'll take it. Then you could have got in short down here and wrote it all the way back down. With a beautiful setup, but I was like, all right, I'm done. I'm tired of the screens, tired of looking at this. I'm done. And then, yeah, so I just mapped these. Even though I didn't trade this, I just mapped it out here of just key spots that the bulls and bears came to um, came to uh, tap into. And if we add this here, this taps right into this zone here. It's, it's crazy. 
It's crazy how these things work out, right? <laughs> crazy. But yeah. And then, obviously, you know, the market closed there. So there's pretty good support here. We'll see if it holds up. Pre-market pre might break it. Pre-market will make or break it, but we'll see. Um, yeah, this is the Take Profit Pro. Let's do the performance for yesterday. And yeah, here it is, 5K. I took 33 trades, it was a little much, but I was, a, I was being a little bit aggressive, trying to be a little bit aggressive just to, my goal was just to get over that threshold. So if you, those who don't know, um, the people in, in Take Profit, they have a live trail and drawdown on the funded side. They don't have it on the eval side, but it's on the funded side, a live trail and drawdown, just like Apex. But once you make it over that, that trial, I like to call it that trial, once you make it over that live trail and drawdown, then you have, um, and you lock it in, you gotta lock in your profit for the day. Once their systems update, you don't have to worry about the live trail and drawdown anymore. It switches to end of day drawdown. So I just wanted to hit that, Really, I wanted to hit the $4,500 target. I made about $1,000 more, so that's good. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a payout. I'm thinking I'm gonna take like 500 bucks um, from each account. I got three accounts, by the way, three accounts. So I made this five copy trading again, as always. I love copy trading. Um, so I'm copy trading the max that you can have with Take Profit, which is three accounts. So I made 5K in each, so that's 15K, a little over 15K. Um, yeah, and so not bad. Even though I lost lost an Apex, won in another one. That's why I was stressing, like, yeah, I'm trying to get a bunch of funded accounts with all these different prop firms. So you have a bad, you know, you got a bad day in one of them. At least you can go to another one and be like, okay, yeah, I made up for it, so to speak. So that was my goal here. I'm still, and like I said, I mentioned I got a Blue Sky trading account. I'm gonna focus on that, um, focus on passing that, and then I'll probably switch to, um, I'll probably get a trade day account, I'll probably get some more Apex accounts, like I'm trying to stack them up here, but I'm, a, I'm a not gonna try to do them all at once because that's when I, that's when I mess up. Um, so I'm gonna take my time, knock out each of these different firms, pass them, get funded. Um, I'm probably going to do my funded futures, um, all of that. So yeah, um, so that's that, that's that day one was Friday and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how the week went. Um, like I said, I showed apex cause I've been trading at the longest. Obviously I don't have much data on this account cause I only traded one day on the funded accounts. Um, but yeah, we're going to. We're going to keep it up and look for more opportunities. So, yeah, this is back to Apex. Started off great. Ended the week in red, but it's all, it's all good. Um, we still got a couple weeks to go. Yeah, so for those of y'all new to the channel, we've got our Discord. Me and my trading partner, uh, Nasdaq Anonymous, a.k.a. Sherm. He be in with me on the live streams uh, every day, every morning. And, yeah, we be getting it. Like I said, I'm a... Probably work on tomorrow posting some key levels that I'm looking at. Um, probably for the obviously to the short side, since we got a little bit of well, maybe not to the short side, but we have a little bit of data and history now to go off of. Um, so I'm gonna post some levels, I'll post that on the Discord um, and kind of post a game plan. Um, yeah, but I appreciate y'all checking me out and yeah. For those of y'all new to the channel, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate y'all, everyone, all the all my all the day one risk managers. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do it again next week. And remember, as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. And peace.